LMD Magazine and EFM present Biz Talk, taking an in-depth look at today's biz landscape. On the first edition of Biz Talk, we talked to Mr. Mahesh Vijaywardhana, Marketing Director of Singer Sri Lanka PLC. Can you give us a brief overview of Singer Sri Lanka? Well, uh, Singer Sri Lanka is, uh, could say, as the leading consumer durable uh, retailer in the country. And uh, we have been uh, in Sri Lanka for almost to, close to 140 years now. And uh, from uh, uh, being a single product, single brand company, now we have expanded into a multi-brand, multi-product, a large retailer. In addition to that, we also have other businesses like uh, Singer Finance Company, the financial services. Then uh, Singer also has three fully-fledged manufacturing facilities in the country, which produces uh, refrigerators, a lot of white goods products, washing machines, uh, furniture, light engineering products like water pumps, and also sewing machine assembly facility. So fairly a uh, large organization currently. Singer is a household name. How have you managed to maintain your brand? I think the, that is our, I would say, as a key key success story. Uh, uh, maintaining a brand up to date if, uh, for over 140 years is not an easy job. So uh, where a lot of brands have failed in the in the process, Singer has kept on evolving. So the, 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 I would say the success is that we have actually run with the times. We have moved our strategies, uh, directed our strategies in line with the, uh, the, the, where the glo global trends are. So we are from, as I said, from a sewing machine company to become a retailer. We have worked to our strengths. We have the distribution, we have our service network. So the brand Singer has been always kept on evolving. And uh, the success is that Singer is a powerful product brand also. Now, when you have a product brand, you need to keep up to the, uh, the market requirements, market demand, and the technological needs. So that is where the success is that we have also maintained the product as a product brand, evolving to the latest technology, to the latest fashions. All. So that is how we have maintained the brand. And also we have kept the popularity of the brand through our uh, communications, our advertising. Uh, we are a very popular brand in the country, or the we can say the people's number one brand in the country. So, which uh, means that we have kept the brand alive throughout the year. So, we need to have uh, sufficient advertising funds to keep that going. So, we have to be uh, seen in most places. We have to be visible in the me mediums. So, th those are the success factors that we have kept the brand alive. How is Singer keeping up with the advent of e-commerce in the household appliances sector? So the e-commerce is a trend that uh, it's uh, coming very powerfully now and uh, which is uh, evolving as a result of a technological development. Uh, what we see is we are uh, generally a brick and mortar operation as a retailer but e-commerce is also part of ours. So we, it is within our control to develop the e-commerce. I would say still uh, at the moment we are uh, it's a very small uh, uh, say contribution from e-commerce but we are we are actually developing our e-commerce sites we are developing our e-commerce uh, availability popularity for e-commerce within our company so uh, we we believe that in future i'm not saying that it's going to take over a whole share of the market by e-commerce uh, because there are other things in your retailer, people like to touch and feel, you have to come and see the product physically. So e-commerce is not going to make a major, take, a, take off a major share of the uh, pie from the, uh, the traditional model. But what we see is there will be a market for e-commerce. So our main task is to get our share of that market. So we are developing our own web malls. We are working with our other web uh, retailers. Uh, e-commerce and also on the social media we want to be very active and have more engagement more likes so those are the steps that we are taking and we are also making our web mall popular even not only in Sri Lanka even in overseas what more do you think is needed to further the retail sector I think in time to come uh, we are likely to see uh, bigger retail malls coming into the country uh, at present, uh, I don't think that we have large uh, real mall concepts yet. 
we have like a mini mall i would say so uh, maybe down the line say two years down the line three years down the line or maybe five years down the line we would see uh, major hyper malls coming into the country already we see some uh, infrastructure being developed for that so that is one side of it then also the uh, the people uh, in the retail sector will be more uh, establishing themselves uh, elevating themselves their standards uh, from smaller shops to maybe a little more larger shops uh, but retailers to develop the main thing is to must have a conducive business environment where the the you always have when you have a retailer you also have another one called unorganized retailer we call ourselves the organized retailer so unorganized retailers could thrive if there is a kind of inconsistency on the tariffs and taxes in the so we uh, so having a, a more con say stable uh, economy stable tax system would also allow in uh, retailers to invest on the properties we will have more so we know that we have a level playing field to fight on any grounds so uh, i think uh, in time to come uh, these conditions if those are suiting sri lanka and also the increase of the per capita income now we are in the range of 3600 to 3800 uh, what we believe is when you pass $4,000 mark, maybe $5,000, your buying capacity increases and you will always want to have uh, uh, better living standards. That's a natural, uh, uh, sp uh, uh, people aspire to have better living standards. So acquiring uh, consumer durables like washing machines instead of hand washing or rice cookers instead of cooking on pots. So these are normal uh, uh, improvements in the living standard. So these things will continue to uh, thrive the or uh, to support the retail uh, of consumer durable. What are your plans for the next three to five years for Singer? Well, uh, Singer, uh, we, we, we normally focus on our core business. Uh, we are not highly diversified organizations. So we uh, focus directly on the retail business. So what we would uh, be focusing in the three to five years also is one is on the as we spoke about on the uh, the online uh, shopping side which we have to strengthen ourselves then also on we are an island-wide retailer so island-wide retailing also we need to focus on the key cities that we are the cities we are developing so we will continue to develop our showrooms in the cities upgrade our showrooms in the cities and from a brand uh, perspective, we, we have about 40 local and reputed local and international brands. So we will consolidate more on the brands and have the key brands with us. And if there are any opportunities to acquire uh, even a stronger brands, we will do so. And uh, make sure that this is the singer is the best place for a consumer to have the choice the best uh, brand and the best brand uh, choice and also the best uh, offering product offering the price offering and also we will be strengthening our after sales service further we have a very extensive network so that we give the consumer a very good total solution that is not only buying but even after buying the product you are secure with singer so that's the kind of trust that uh, promise that singer has always been giving Tune in every Tuesday and Thursday for more insights from our business community. You can also log on to EFM.LK and LMD.LK slash LMD TV for a visual experience of this talk.